What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, I'm Jordan and welcome to the Be On The Bee community. Today I'm going to walk you through a guitar tutorial that I'm so excited about. This is The Archer by Alexandra Savior. If you're unfamiliar with Alex, I definitely suggest you check her out because she is wicked. This guitar tutorial is based off of a live session she did in New York a couple months ago. So yeah, stick around and we will get started. So there are five chords for the song. We have two bar chords and three open chords. So to start off, we have F major to G major to C major to A minor. And then we have F again. So guys, if you want to play the G um, as an open chord instead of a bar chord, that's totally cool too. So this is the first position here. So for the first verse, Alex just does a down stroke for the first beat of the bar and holds it for four bars. So the earth went ahead and shook itself apart the very moment I laid eyes on and then she repeats, and then instead of the last chord being A minor, it's going to be C7. So it goes. I took some pleasure at the burning of the cross before, and heaven couldn't be so true. And she does eight downstrokes with eighth notes, basically. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then she goes into the chorus, which is You ate me right up, spit me back out You bit my head right off with your tiny little mouth And I licked the blood from your lips back to the C7 again. So those last four chords repeat again for the second time. And so that's pretty much it. When Alex goes into verse two, she just does the same chords over and adds eighth notes into the mix, just with down strumming. So don't need to tell you, but your arrows may have stars in the shot that you've made, punch it straight into my heart. It's a little ignorant, but everybody's saying that forever is the place where you and I will make C7, back to F. You ate me right up, you spit me back out, you bit my head right off with your C7. And again, and I licked the blood. And just a quick note, um, for the last line of the chorus, you can just go back to those simple down strumming on the first beat one time for every four beats. So, I licked the blood from your lips. And then when you hit the C7, you go back to the eighth notes. So that is everything for this tutorial guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. If you want to learn more about Beyond the Beat and what we do, everything is linked down below in the information box. I hope you have a lovely week and I'll see you soon.